SUNY Oswego is taking part in their second annual Yards for Yardley event. Campus community members are invited to take laps around the quad to help raise awareness for preventing dating violence. I would say that we're walking to remember and walking to prevent. Yardley was a um, senior at UVA, a lacrosse player and also a member of a sorority on campus. It was May 3rd, 2010 that she was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. Um, so her mom and her sister started One Love to honor her. Yards for Yardley originally started for sports teams across the country to commit to running one million yards in 30 days in memory of Yardley Love. Since then, Yards for Yardley has evolved to be a campus challenge nationwide. SUNY Oswego was the first school to complete one million yards in one day, with a total of 1.67 million yards in 2016. For me, the big thing that got me interested was just Hearing the numbers and knowing that I didn't know much about dating violence before I was trained as a facilitator for One Love. I think my personal connection with knowing someone who was um, tragically killed um, was my main reason to volunteering last year during the first one and then this year also. This year SUNYAC challenged all SUNY campuses to achieve the goal of walking or running 10 million yards total. We hope to surpass our previous record and take the win for the SUNY campus with the most yards. When I first started out it was to be able to educate others and educate myself on all the issue and to help challenge the issue of dating violence. Um, and now being able to hear people's stories and get to know them personally, I want to be there to advocate for them, to raise awareness and to continue to challenge it. One in three women and one in every four men will suffer from dating violence. Nearly 50% of these women and nearly 40% of these men experience violence for the first time between the ages of 18 and 24. It was also reported that 58% of college students say they don't know what to do to help someone who is a victim of relationship violence. We're walking here to honor the lives of people like Yardley who've lost their lives and also to create awareness so we can prevent this from happening um, here at SUNY Oswego or anywhere else. Last year we already had a ton of involvement. We walked over a million yards and then to see that we had over 600 people pre-register. We know more people are going to sign up. It shows that SUNY Oswego has already created this campus where people are aware of domestic violence, dating violence, they're aware of what's going on and they're saying we don't want this here and we support you if this is affecting you in some way. This is Bella Jackson for SUNY Oswego News.